Taking shelter from the rain this morning, but it's too warm to want to be in the garage. Hi guys, you guys are good. Good morning. Aw, good morning. So we had enough rain overnight to rinse some of the pollen off of the uh, driveway over here into the corner. And uh, that's just the start of things to come. I hit the floor running at 8.30 and I've been cleaning. And I've got uh, stuff pulled out for our Easter egg decorating. So Donnie is going to uh, graciously give up his nice comfy spot on the couch today watching YouTubes. Oh, yeah. So that the kids and I can dye Easter eggs and run all around the house. He's planning on... Um, yeah, I'm planning to take, close up my Chromebook and put it in a safe place. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, uh, get my stuff kind of situated. And I'm going to fix that. I got all the parts for the vacuum cleaner I ordered a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to fix the vacuum cleaner and then, uh, and it has stopped raining. And so if it stops raining, then I got, I got a pile of uh, wood that I need to chip up. So I'll uh, probably chip wood and hopefully by then the f fun and games will all be over. <laughs> They're here. And do, I'm bringing this into your no soda household. That's all right. <laughs> huh? These are just hats. Not presents, just hats. <laughs> Hey girl, now how do you think we're gonna eat all of that pizza? Oh, believe you me, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> hey girl, it's good to see you. <laughs> First order of business, pizza. Hey, is it yummy? Hi, kitty. Have you got you your personal aerial today? Aww. I always love opening my presents from Michelle. Oh, I yeah. love my little fairy garden house. This is perfect. So I created the first egg, and it's my favorite color scheme, which is purple, blue, and green. Ooh, cool. It looks like a stained glass window, Joey. It's it's you did a good job, buddy. It's really pretty. Thanks. So these are marble eggs. This thing spins. Maybe I can get Joey to do another one, and I'll video it spinning. Sure. Ariel has her first uh, marble egg. Look at how pretty. This is gonna be my third egg. Yeah, those eggs are very pretty. Oh, spin those eggs. Spin, spin, spin. Spin to win. Yeah, it's not exactly a quiet operation. Let's see, Connor. Stop for a second. Let's see. Oh, that's really some nice different lighter colors. Very pretty. I like holding them and making them half and half. So, Johnny, what did you do with your egg? I put four dots on it and drew a line. Yeah, it's green, nice and green. Johnny's favorite color. And I did this egg for Dawn. Johnny's over here working on a minion egg. Up again. We're having fun, and we don't care if our hands look like our very own personal Easter egg for a few days. How cute. But I got, Johnny? I got creative, and I made a yolk monster. The rod and yolk attacks again. It, it looks like uh, some sort of an alien. <laughs> That's Today is a day when uh, creativity is appreciated on all fronts. I now have a Dawn, a Marianne, a Johnny, and a Joey egg. My family. I love them. So one of Michelle's and my favorite things to do is to wrap eggs with silk ties and the imprint of the tie comes off on the egg. You'll see. It's way cool. So you take your egg and you get your piece of tie. We get about enough tie. Make can do two or three mm -hmm. eggs probably. Do you want me to cut these in half? Yeah, why don't you cut that one in half. You roll it up and then you put uh, rubber bands on it until it's, uh, you want to keep it as flat up against the egg surface as you can. It's kind of hard. You just do it the best you can, and then you boil them. Normal hard boil time, and then uh, when they're cool enough, you can take the silk tie off. It, you get the nice design left behind. So you want the pretty side of the tie, the side people would see when you're wearing it. That's the side that you want to go up against the egg. So Joey's taking the eggs that we've left sitting a good long time out, and he's uh, putting them over there in the egg containers for us. I've got the silk tie eggs in the pot and it's turned on high getting ready to boil this is where johnny was experimenting <laughs> gotta love kid experimentation joey's loading up the eggs to go hide them 
We need to know how many there are, so uh -oh. make sure to count. Joey says there are exactly 70 eggs to hide, and him and Michelle are going to go hide them for the little kids. All right. It's time. There, there are 70 eggs. So to get, how many does that mean you have to have to be the winner? Ten. At least 50. Nope. 15? 10? Uh, well, if you divide 70 by 3. Uh, 70 divided by 3. I'm not good at math. 23 times 3 would be 69. So whoever has more than 23 eggs is the winner. Wow. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> no, God, it won't hurt anything that it's going off. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Careful of my tree. Ariel, Ariel, careful of my tree. Oh. 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 No. You guys are missing some. Yeah, well, they'll come take a second pass. No, they know all the yeah, they're just missing a few. <laughs> you guys did good with the hiding. <laughs> So where did you tell them the boundaries are? From all the way to the stairs, from there to all the way over there. Okay, but not down the driveway anywhere. No. Okay. You did a good, Joe. Joey looks forward to hiding oh, every year. No! Don't hurt. No, no, no pushing. This is not a contact sport. <laughs> you can't have anybody hurt in the blog. I want you guys to all still be friends at the end of the egg hunt. <laughs> it is a competition, but friendly competition. Friendly, <laughs> that's my mistake, huh? Well, it's starting to look sparse. I'm not seeing as many as I was. They're doing good. <laughs> 30 more seconds. I haven't seen any they've missed, so. And we'll see how good your math skills are. You can count how many you have. <laughs> Just going to say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands in the air. I think you just don't care. <laughs> I think you care, all right. Okay. All right, let's go everybody, inside and count. Everybody count up your eggs. Let's go inside the count. Okay, I, I Connor, how many did you get? 18. 18. Four, Good job. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I think Ariel won. Ariel won. Yay! So how many eggs did you get, Johnny? 21. Okay. You and no you and Connor, I think, got the same a number. So Ariel is the winner. I found 21. High five. Woo! Now let's do the math. We had 29 and 21, so that's 30 and 20, that's 50. And how many did you have, Connor? So there's still two eggs. There's still two eggs somewhere. Hey, Johnny, hey, wait, wait, wait. Johnny and Connor can have a tiebreaker. Yeah, exactly. A tiebreaker. Go, see if you can find an egg. So how many in a row is it that you've beat the boys? Two. Two? Yeah. Way cool girl power for the win. These guys must really love me. So they're hard boiled now. I'm going to cool them down and then I'm going to unwrap them. If you have red silk ties or dark purple, you should do them separate from yellow and lighter colors. Otherwise your lighter colors end up red. This is a second batch. So here's the box for the uh, egg spinner. And uh, even though it makes a lot of noise, little kids really love it and I highly recommend it. I'm thinking it's just subscribe and save, but... Got my name on it. Look at her box. I got soap and cat food. Yeah, this is her box. <laughs> and this is my box. More power. <laughs> I thought I was going to be in trouble for a minute. <laughs> Mailman had to bring that one up to the door. <laughs> well, up to the drive. 
Ooh. It's just subscribe and save. Oh, this is, no, it's not. It's not? My splatter screen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. for taekwondo yeah and the boys are headed to their dad's house this weekend so uh he'll pick them up from uh taekwondo class afterward yeah well that felt good yeah boys are gone for the weekend they'll be back sunday let's take a look at our amazing pick of the day and if you've been out to the wrl oh, you know we talked about the color what an amazing picture. This is from Marianne Miller. She comes to the WRL Gardens every year. She was here yesterday seeing the tulips. Mm -hmm. She says she'll be back in a few weeks to see the azaleas, which will be in full bloom over the next couple of weeks. What a great picture. Did she tiptoe through those two? She might have. She <laughs> might, I would not be surprised. But uh, we invite you to come out this Easter holiday week and bring your family. Come see the gardens. The grass is so green. The flowers are blooming. And some of the azaleas are as well. Uh, come out and enjoy. And thank you, Marianne, for sending in the amazing pick of the day. And talk about... Thank you.